climbing, climbing, climbing once again. And uh, just speaking of the art department, I remember being called over by Harry Hamilton. And there was an, an A-level exam taking place in the, uh, in the school library. And Harry called me over and pointed. And there was a lady in Vigilator who is known to us all, who were old members of staff there. And uh, she was sleeping. <laughs> we, we had a good laugh about it. <laughs> and more art and design, but the, these were, this was all the, the bun making department whenever I was here. Uh, domestic science, uh, or whatever it's called, home economics. But it was, to me it was always the bun making department. And I, I frequently availed of, of many uh, kind, kind offerings of pupils' buns because the other staff wouldn't eat them, but I ate anything. So, here we go. And on down to the end of the line where Terry Galt ruled supreme. Some say good old Terry. Others tell the truth. <laughs> Terry knows I'm only joking. And this is the view that youngsters would have had as they lined up and waited to go into class on the top floor here. Oh. Well, I forgot to mention uh, Jimmy Clements and Ian Russell uh, as regards the, uh, the science department. Forgot. It's so easy to forget people's names. This was uh, Linda Ranson's geography department and uh, Mrs. Elder was up here too. Uh, nice nice uh, paintings there, I must admit. That's very nice again. Hi there! And this was the history department. Look at all. <laughs> this one, I used to call the history department the bluffing department <laughs> because Reggie was in it. This was probably the most uh, famous and most popular room in the entire school. This was the home of the bowl, Reggie Killops. What a guy. Married late in life and ended up down at Waterford with his good lady. <laughs> Reggie was everyone's hero. Now I'm just coming up. I'm looking out the window here and we have been transformed into Hen House City. This is due to the uh, new amalgamation and the start of Breda Academy uh, in September. So we had huts and they were all done away with but now as you can see, they're all back again. But John O'Dowd, of course, has promised uh, a new build in about seven or eight years' time. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen because there's no money. And the unionist politicians, well, they did nothing to uh, save a good school, a successful school, uh, a never-in-debt school, a school with a, a sixth form upper six and a school that was producing excellent results similar to uh, a grammar school and this school is being closed and amalgamated and uh, in the closure situation it's going to be all chaos and uh, all things Newton Breda as I've said before are being dismantled and largely binned so anyway that's my wee rant over, back to uh, talking about 
talking about uh, the rooms. Miss McCabry up here, business studies, what a, what a lady. <laughs> and this is a good idea actually, looking out over the uh, back quad again. They've put in solar panels. And uh, I wish they'd take away these blooming hurling goals because they're, there's two nests here. And they make such a racket. But there's the view.